Hi, this is Dr. Sonia Nair. I'm a neurologist in Apple Valley at High Desert Neurodiagnostics. I'm also affiliated with Choice Medical Group and IHP Horizon Valley. I wanted to touch base today and talk a little bit about COVID-19. As you know, most of our county, states, and even country, and even around the world, we're starting to open up slowly in phases. And I want to talk about how can we be safe, both as adults and children, as we go out into the world um, in kind of what we call our new normal. So first of all, I want to touch base about what does the science say? So we've heard scientists talking about the importance of masks and social distancing. Well, I wanted to bring up to date that there was recently an article that came out of Lancet, which is a very reputable medical journal, that stated that basically social distancing and mask work. By doing proper social distancing, it can decrease your risk of the virus transmission by about 70%, and wearing masks, whether it's out in the community or by medical healthcare workers can also decrease your risk by about 66%. So basically just reiterating what we've said, masks are important and social distancing is important. So as we go out, there are a few things that we can continue to do. Like we said, you know, wearing your mask at all times really does decrease your risk of the virus transmission. Um, keeping your distance when we go out and about, especially with um, strangers and whatnot, keeping our distance from them. Um, two, also remembering good hand washing. Washing our hands with good old hand um, water and soap, using hand sanitizer is very helpful. Also, being outdoors in well-ventilated areas. A lot of us are tired of being cooped up for so many months, so as the weather gets nicer, we've been going outside. By staying in these well-ventilated areas, the risk of transmission decreases as well. Um, second of all, I also want to touch a little bit about the respiratory symptoms. There's been a lot of concern about the respiratory symptoms versus how much of the virus actually stays on what we call inanimate objects, door handles, mails, and things like that. And right now, most of the concern seems that a majority of the virus transmission happens through respiratory transmission, meaning if someone is talking, if someone is yelling versus someone is um, singing or um, um, coughing and sneezing, those are all higher risk than a basic level of talking or whispering. And those have a higher risk of getting the virus than, let's say, uh, getting it through your mail or touching a doorknob. We should still exercise caution, um, but we don't need to be as cautious with that, those items than, let's say, the respiratory symptoms. I do want to take a minute or two to talk about children. So as children now are getting out of school and um, a lot of parents are kind of decide, deciding what to do with day camps, um, sports activities, uh, just a reminder for kids, the same rules apply. And I think people would be quite surprised. Children actually listen to the rules quite well, meaning wearing a mask. Even little children are able to wear it for a certain period of time. And it sometimes are even better than adults in wearing them. But encouraging them to wear a mask, reminding children not to touch your face as much, to wash hands after they touch uh, something else or before they eat or before they touch their face is a good habit as well. And if your kid or children do have to be in activities or day camps, some reminders, smaller groups are noted to be safer than larger groups. If your children play sports and activities, once again, being outdoors in a well ventilated or um, in a well ventilated space is safer than a closed space. And if your child does play, let's say, a traveling sport, trying to limit their exposure to outside community people. For example, if they go to the next county over to play sports, that's a higher risk because you're potentially going from a low risk community to a high risk community, and that can increase your chances of uh, developing the virus. So they even, CDC is even recommending staying within your community and playing. Um, I just want to remind people also, lastly, that for those who are participating in protests or demonstrations, there still is a high risk of developing the virus. Please wear your mask. Please take hand sanitizer to wash your hands. Um, it's a way to at least prevent us from spreading the disease to others. So just a reminder that we're all on edge. Please be kind to each other. Please be helpful. Once again, thank you, and I'm Dr. Sonia Nair.